All right, everybody, shh. these are the Travi. Really, Travis, but plural, Travi. I need papers, rolling papers, to make a joint. <laughs> what happened to your leg? War injury. Which war? Vietnam. You like that band, Nirvana? If you need some cash to go to a concert, you know, let me know. What? So nice to have you home again. It's Christmas. We do it every year. Please hold your hands in front of you. I'm a mother. Don't you have a mother? My mother respects the law. These were the best years of our lives. At least that's what they told us. Show me the life I would have had without your big mouth. You're a pretty horrible father. Well, at least we're telling the truth now. What do you think about cosmetic surgery? God, you're a beautiful woman. Can I give you my number? Okay. Sometimes I feel like I don't fit into this family. Do you want to talk about it? Can we talk about something else? You mess with my kid again. I will go to sleep at night just dreaming up ways to make your petty, insignificant lives into hell on earth. Nice trailer. be kidding me. Shylock is my name. a lady richly left and she is fair her name is Portia and I but the means well it now appears you need my help three thousand ducats and for three months let the forfeit be an equal pound of your fair flesh to be cut off and taken <laughs> Here, choose I. And if my form lie there, I am yours. But all his ventures failed. What, not one hit? Not one, my lord. They let me have judgment and make no more offers. The pound of flesh, tis mine! feed nothing else, it will feed my revenge. Your daughter is a quadriplegic on a ventilator for the rest of her life. Let's get a BP and then we'll change your catheter. Okay. Yeah, would you teach me to do that? Teach what? Everything. More than anything in this world, my daughter wants to return to school. 
All right, if the volume of the cylinder is two, what is the height of the cylinder? Brooke? 1.37. Bingo, we have a winner. <laughs> Congratulations, oh you have been accepted God. to Harvard University. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm in a wheelchair because I was hit by a car when I was 11. The condition's not contagious as far as we know. <laughs> what man will ever want me? What company is ever going to hire me? You got to eat. Come on. You have to eat. I can't do this. <laughs> You belong in this world, but you have to decide whether you're going to contribute to it or be paralyzed. You. You are an amazing woman, Brooke Ellison. Miracles happen. They happen to me, and they're happening to you. You need only to look to the people in your lives to see them. For the first time ever, Bewitched is coming to DVD. Oh, that sounds like fun. That's wonderful. Wow. Relive the magic. My wife is a witch. Cheer up. You should see my wife. Own all 36 episodes of the first season. Samantha! Don't miss Samantha, Darren, Andorra, and Clara. Clara! There's a bit of trouble in the kitchen. And Uncle Arthur. Would you like to join me in a cup of coffee? Do you think we can both fast? The four-disc box set is loaded with extra features, including a sneak peek at Bewitched, the movie, ah! filmographies, and more. Now that's really fun. Mother. All right, Andorra, let's have this out right now, face to face. Ooh, Darren, don't. Oh, Bewitched, the complete first season on DVD before it disappears. Experience the best of the eighties. This is the eighties. Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. They are the films that define the generation. We're gonna do some break dancing. Really? Yeah. Now digitally remastered. Wow. And looking better than ever on DVD. Fun day. Ghostbusters. It's right here, Ray. It's looking at me. You. Ah! Me. It's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. There's something you don't see every day. The Big Chill. I was at my best when I was with you people. I mean, how much sex, fun, friendship can one man take? Ah! The Karate Kid. Show me wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Hey, wax on, hat. Wax off, hat. Concentrate. You're dead meat. Sing Delmo's fire. There are certain words that my mother finds too horrible to utter, so she whispers them. Did you hear about Betty Rothberg? Cancer. Where did you meet Wendy again? Prison. <laughs> Quick, what's the meaning of life? It's money, isn't it? I write a huge bestseller and become the fabulous host of my own talk show. You know what it is? It's St. Elmo's Fire. Stripes. There she was just a walking down the street singing to a dead and dead and dead and dead. Never had anybody give you the answer to my night treat. I'm gonna walk out of here a lean, a mean, fighting machine. Come on, rhythm, hunt, two, three, four, black guys, help the white guys. Stand by me. Sweet! Let's go! King of love. In the prime of my youth, and I'll only be young once. Maybe he's dead. He's not dead, he's still breathing, you idiot.
If you remember the 80s, relive the fun. We took a secret vote. We're not leaving. If you missed it the first time, join the party. Okay, who brought the dog? One way or another, get your hands on these DVDs. It's your chance to own the 80s. That's the fact, Jack! That's the fact, Jack! The day our mother died, Lo hid the station wagon behind the garbage dump just in case. That summer, she ran away from her foster family and so-called kidnapped me from mine. We just stuck to Lo's number one rule. Keep moving and you won't get nailed. Thanks. I'm do it for you. Wait, where are you going? Listen, I... She said that since her mother was never the mother type, that just meant me and her were the naturally independent type. Luckily, she had a natural gift for turbulence. What are you looking at? Nothing. You know what we need? What? We need a place in the country. Some place we can just hang out for a couple of weeks without people bugging us. That way we're just not floating around when this thing hits. I saw a cat do it once. Come on, we take stuff from stores all the time. Freeze, it's a gun. I do not give in to criminals. I put some music in here for you. Did you ever notice how certain people won't trust somebody unless that somebody's wearing a chain on their ankles? It's called Hot Dish. I believe kidnap victims have just as much right to a balanced meal as anyone else. You don't have a family, do you, Lane? I'm afraid I was not terribly unified as a younger person. I bet you'd chill out if you just talked to her. While I cannot condone this kidnapping, I do think you're a very fine young lady. Really? Thanks. They really happen, things like that. Strange, amazing things.